Howdy coders. This is Delightful Dylan on GameCode, bringing you Assassin's Creed Odyssey, some helpful early game tips in combat. So we're going to start off with some of the abilities. Um, these are going to be ones that you're going to want to get early on if you can. Uh, obviously, you can do it in any order that you like, but we're going to go to the abilities and check it out. So, big one um, that is going to be a game changer early on is just upgrading your assassination uh, level. So this is going to automatically loot, right? And then once you get tier 2 unlocked, you're going to want to definitely get the second wind ability unlocked. This is going to be the first time in an Assassin's Creed game you get a straight up ability to just heal. So as you can see, this is tier 1, gives you 25% of max health back, and it goes to 35 and then 45. As you upgrade the tiers, it's going to take a little bit of story to upgrade, but definitely get this right off the bat. It's going to allow you to fight much harder enemies than you would be able to and uh, hold your own through the longer battles. This is with bosses and with uh, legendary creatures. Uh, no spoilers really, but uh, you'll get to a point. All right. And again, uh, trying to stay away from spoilers. Uh, since we're on this menu, try to upgrade your spear level as much as possible. Once you are able to get to the section where you can get the tokens to upgrade it, definitely put in the time to upgrade it. There's going to be six levels total. I have level three right now, and uh, it changes the look of the spear and its damage output. All right, so that's going to be a huge, huge uh, helpful thing. I don't really go with the bows and arrows, as you can see. Been kind of neglecting that. I'm going more warrior. I like combat, and then I got my assassinations. So a lot of these are going to give you straight up uh, assassination increases. Spear Leonidas gives you a ranged assassination ability with a, a chain attack attached to it. So you can do two assassinations from range without anybody knowing the wiser. It's really going to help you out when you're doing missions and uh, if you're trying to push push that level barrier. Okay. Um, when it comes to uh, uh, warrior abilities, big one I like using is obviously... The Shield Breaker. If you played Assassin's Creed Origins, you know how important this is. You're going to want to have an ability to break the shields. That's going to take any um, enemies that are equivalent level that you're able to take the shields from. And you're going to toss that sucker. And it's going to really lower their impact in the battle. Um, you're also able to increase just warrior damage overall and crit possibility. So I put in points for that. Now in place of the Spartan Kick, which is going to be an early on stunning attack which does a lot of damage to a single target i replaced it with the ring of chaos which is an aoe attack which uh also stuns but it can do multiple enemies at once a little bit less damage but you can upgrade it as you progress the story and then gear master this is just a kind of like the weapons master it's going to help increase your armor and reduce ranged damage taken um, that's all as far as we're going to get in this one today, but uh, just know to upgrade your abilities and check out what works for with your play style. Uh, talking about play style, before we get too much further, we're going to look at, right now, I have the sword equipped. So it's a one-handed sword, and when using it, you also use the, the spear that we talked about. And as you can tell and you might know uh, already this is the spear of leonidas it's been upgraded to level three so that's why it looks more refined but uh it's going to help out in battle a lot and it's it's pretty fast pretty fast uh combo here now if you put the ability points in you can do this quick change and you can go to a longer weapon or a secondary if you like daggers and swords or whatever you want to switch between i usually use the longer weapon so i use the sword when i'm in uh multiple enemies uh combat with multiple enemies I like the spear when I'm hunting animals or fighting a single boss, just because you get that little bit of range, you get a little bit more time. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit slower, but it does put out that damage. The DPS is very, very comparable, and it has the large attack as well as the quick attacks. When you're doing these attacks, make sure when you're fighting an enemy that you are paying attention to what the enemy is doing. If you see the white gleam on the enemy's weapon it's time to push r1 and l1 and do a parry and if you time your dodges which is for on the ps4 it's a, a square button you're going to be able to dodge back right and uh i don't have an enemy right now so i'm, I'm not dodging but you can dodge and there you go 
and if you hold it, it's going to be a longer dodge where you're going to get the roll in play. If you do a perfect dodge, it's going to slow time. You're going to be able to flank the enemy or get away if you need to. You can back up, take a couple shots with the bow to the head. That's going to do a lot of damage. Or you can flank them or hit them from the from the rear, and that's going to be a lot of damage as well. Um, just remember to focus on the ads before the boss. If I were you, that's just uh, from I mean multiple games, not just Assassin's Creed. And uh, if the situation dictates, obviously, if the mission is going to end, go for this. But you're going to want to do as many chain attack assassinations as possible if you're a lower level. And uh, make sure that when once you're in the combat, you're just paying attention to your surroundings. Use the lock-on feature, which is going to be R3. That's going to lock onto the target. And you can just alternate between which targets you want to lock onto. That's going to just give you a lot more control during the battle of who you're fighting and when you're fighting them. All right, that's going to be it for today in my little quick early combat tips we're gonna have some follow-up videos let me know if you want to see anything additional in assassin's creed odyssey i've been delightful dylan on game code signing off